Everyone knows track and field events such as hurdles, pole vault, and relays, but here at Lovejoy, in the past two seasons, the track program has added a more unique event. Yeah, the steeplechase is a, a 2,000 meter uh, track race where each lap we have five barriers, similar to a hurdle, but it's a little bit different. They don't move over, and uh, and w one of the barriers has a, a water pit after it, which you jump over, and yeah, it's just one more lap than a mile race. Lovejoy is only one of two schools in Texas that participates in the event. Bob Brands, father of Ryan Brands, discusses how participating in the steeplechase can have an impact on student-athletes' futures. When you go out and you have a, a child that's a junior or senior, they want to know what your children can run. And so, generally speaking, they're going to say, well, I run the mile or the two mile, or I run the 400. By being able to add the javelin, the steeplechase, the, uh, the pole vault, now our, now our kids can go to those interviews and say, well, I run the steeplechase. And almost every time for distance kids, you see the college coach, he's, you run the steeplechase? It's so rare for a high school kid to be able to practice and be good at a college event. So it's been great. Though the event is still new to Lovejoy, plenty of athletes are already participating in it. Coach Kelly discusses how these athletes are chosen. They need to be physically fit to be able to run 2,000 meters at a good good pace. Um, they also need to be somewhat athletic. Typically, we'll, we'll have kids try and go over hurdles, and we can kind of evaluate if they have the ability to hurdle hurdles or not. Um, if, usually if they struggle with hurdling hurdles, um, they're probably not going to be good at the event, so we'll kind of cut them from that. Reporting for the Lovejoy News Network, this is Joe Cross and Haley Kranz.